Hello students, welcome to part 5 of UGC NET Environmental Sciences Syllabus Review. Okay, so these are the first 5 units of the UGC NET Syllabus and these are the next 5 units of the UGC Syllabus. So you have totally 10 units and I have explained about them in the preceding lecture. So please watch them if you want to and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Now let us go into unit number 5. So unit 5 is about energy and the environment. So basically we have to start with the sun as the source of energy, then the concept of solar radiation and spectral characteristics. Spectral characteristics means the electromagnetic spectrum of the from coming from the sun's radiations. Okay. Then you have to learn about the fossil fuels, how they are classified, how they are composed. Particularly in detail you have to learn about coal, the physiochemical characteristics and the energy content of coal. Then you have to learn about petroleum, natural gas, shale oil coal bed methane, gas hydrates. So all of these are the different fossil fuels that are listed in this particular unit. Then you need to know about two concepts basically the gross calorific value and the net calorific value. So these will actually enable us to understand the worthiness of utilizing different kinds of fossil fuels. So what is the calorific value that you have to understand the concepts. Next set of con topics which have been given in the syllabus for Unit 5 Energy and Environment involves the principles and generation of hydropower, tidal energy, ocean thermal energy conversion. So there is a clear difference between tidal energy and ocean thermal energy conversion. Please do not combine them as a same concept. They are completely different from each other. Then you have to learn about wind power, geothermal energy, solar energy. Under solar energy, you have to learn about solar collectors, photovoltaic modules and solar ponds. Then you have to learn about nuclear energy, particularly fission and fusion, then nuclear fusion, fuels and the principles and types of nuclear reactors. So these are the first three modules. Next you have to learn about two more concepts, particularly bioenergy. So bioenergy, what are the different methods from which you can get bioenergy? How can you produce energy from biomass and what are the environmental implications of energy use? What is the kind of energy use pattern in India and the world? What is the kind of emissions of carbon dioxide? Uh, the correct notation is uh, CO and 2 as the subscript. Here I have given 2 as such. So that is a mistake. So emissions of CO2 in developed countries and in developing countries, particularly how is the situation in India? Then radiative forcing, what is the concept of radiating forcing you have to learn. Then about global warming you have to understand. Last but not least unit 5 energy and environment deals with the impacts of large scale exploitation of the sources of solar energy, wind energy, hydro energy and nuclear energy. So these are the topics under unit 5 energy and the environment. So that's it. And please subscribe to this channel and keep watching this channel for all the syllabus review of all the units coming under UGC Net Environmental Sciences. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.